America, in God we trust. It says so on our money. But, as Cindy Lauper once so eloquently put it, money changes everything. In God we trust. And what did we get in return? George W. Bush, the gift that keeps on giving. Maybe it's time to take a break and reassess this relationship. Maybe even start seeing other deities. Or maybe all we need to do is spice the relationship up a bit. Have another God over for a threesome. Us, America, Bible God, and the deity of your choice. My preference would be Kali, the Indian goddess with all the arms and the sword. We could always rent some racy adult DVDs full of hot God on God action and watch them together. I only mention this because Republican Congressman Bill Sally is under the impression that God's offended by the fact that a Hindu prayer was said in the House of Representatives. And being offended, God upstairs is about to unleash some of the old domestic violence. According to Bill, America only exists because of the protective hand of God. An angry God. A God who may have had a few beers and is now insisting that he saw you flirting with another god at the bar. All it takes is a Hindu prayer to threaten the existence of America. Well, I'm calling bullshit. Every intelligent person knows that America only exists because of the good graces of the flying spaghetti monster. And all that the flying spaghetti monster asks in return is that every weekend a certain number of American suburban families visit the Olive Garden. Because when you're here, you're family. And we're all really children of the flying spaghetti monster when you think about it. However, if they ever serve falafel or pita bread in the White House dining room, a great vengeance will fall upon us. As it clearly says in the good book, Papa John verses 23 and 42, the vengeance of the flying spaghetti monster is mighty and he will send a giant meatball like a meteor flying through the cosmos to wipe America from the face of the earth. The skies will run red, as if the Book of Revelations had been rewritten, with a lot of product placement from ragu pasta sauce. The flying spaghetti monster promises multiple trips to the Devastation Salad Bar, where the sneeze guard will keep the germs off the lightning bolts, lava and Lindsay Lohan jokes that are his mighty punishment. You can run, you can hide in your cellar, you can hire Richard Dreyfus to make a sort of tabletop mountain out of mashed potatoes, but you can't escape the wrath of the flying spaghetti monster. Not when he can use his many noodly appendages to pull back the strings on a thousand bows and shoot off the arrows of unlimited breadsticks. The high carb thunderbolts that will be the ruination of us all. Of course, I could be wrong and Bill Sally could be right. But if that's the case, shouldn't America spend a little time on Match.com? Maybe there we can look for a god who likes fine wine, classical music, long walks on the beach. Because if Bill Sally's right, it sounds like we're currently stuck in a very abusive relationship. This video is supplied for paranormal purposes only. And your elected representatives sound like they want to call ghostbusters. For copyright reasons, I can't end this video with a clip from the KLF's America What Time Is Love video. But you should check it out. It's awesome. But before you do, just to spare yourself the wrath of a mighty flying spaghetti monster, it might not hurt to rate this video five spicy meatballs. That's five spicy meatballs, regardless of the indigestion. See you next time. Cheers.